Hello and welcome back. In the DIY Packraft shop, I offer airtight T-Zip Super Seal zippers, which, when installed in your Packraft, allow you to store your gear inside the tubes. These zippers come from the factory already mounted in very tough heat sealable fabric. The heat sealable side faces the outside of the zipper, so if your Packraft has the heat sealable TPU coating on the outside of the tubes, as is the case with the DIY Packraft kits, then you'll need to add a rectangle of TPU coated fabric around the zipper to bond it to the Packraft. Cut a rectangle of fabric several centimeters longer and wider than the zipper fabric, and then cut a slot in the middle of the rectangle between 2.5 and 3 centimeters wide for the zipper to fit through. You can also round off the corners of the rectangle and leave a strip of fabric on one end to turn into a grab loop so you'll have a convenient handle to pull against when you want to open the zipper. Use your heat sealing iron to bond the rectangle to the zipper fabric, making sure to center the zipper in the slot so the fabric won't interfere with the zipper's slider. This heat sealed bond feels quite strong. Because I don't want to destroy my zipper by tearing it apart to see just how strong the bond is, I added a bead of glue around the inside edge of the bond to reinforce it. Over the next few years, we'll see how well the heat sealed bond holds up, and hopefully we'll find that the glue isn't necessary. If you choose to add glue here, I recommend that you cover the zipper with a piece of tape first to mitigate the risk of accidentally gumming it up with glue. Now it's time to cut a slot in the Packraft's tube fabric. If you haven't already assembled your Packraft, this will be easy. But if you're retrofitting a completed boat, you'll find it's easiest to inflate the Packraft first and then mark where you want to locate the zipper. In either case, you'll probably want the zipper to be as close to the tip of the stern as possible, especially if you plan to add a spray deck. Be sure to leave at least one centimeter of overlap between the tube fabric and the rectangle of fabric that you bonded to the zipper. And if your Packraft isn't assembled yet, leave at least 1.5 centimeters between the rectangle and the edge of the tube piece so it won't interfere with the seam fabric you'll add later. Mark the location of the zipper on the tube fabric and then cut a slot a few centimeters wide and slightly longer than the zipper. Position the zipper over the slot with the TPU side of the rectangle facing down against the TPU side of the tube fabric and then heat seal the rectangle to the tube. Now the zipper is installed in the boat. If you want to add a grab loop, as I did, cut a thin strip of fabric, round off one end, seal the strip to the tab you left on the end of the rectangle, and then make a loop by sealing the rounded end of the strip to the tube fabric adjacent to the rectangle. Reinforce the loop by adding a second layer of fabric on its inside, bridging the joint where the ends of the loop attach to the tube fabric. When your pack raft is complete, don't forget to lubricate the zipper with the included silicone gel, but don't do that until you're finished, otherwise you might get silicone in your seams. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe so you'll be notified when new videos are posted. Thanks for watching.